A couple of weeks ago, my family and I had the opportunity to attend the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the foods that we tried from different countries. For those of you who don't know, the Food and Wine Festival is an event that occurs around late July to about mid-November, depending on the year. If you are wanting to attend this event, just be aware of that time frame for the future. I did do my best to look up the proper pronunciation of the names, so if I do say anything wrong, I do apologize. Apologize. All right, let's see what we tried. We started off in Hawaii with the Spam Sushi, Kalua Pork Sliders, Alani Sunrise, and the Florida Orange Grove Sparkling Pineapple Wine. With the Spam Sushi, it was Spam with white sushi rice wrapped in seaweed with a spicy mayonnaise and a soy sauce drizzle on top. With the Kalua Pork Sliders, it was on a Hawaiian roll with pork, with pork pineapples, and spicy mayonnaise as well. One thing I need to mention is I'm under 21, so I can't drink, but my parents and my sister said that they really enjoyed the drinks, but they said for this country, they preferred the Alani Sunrise. I'm sorry, I can't rate those drinks, but my parents and my sister said that they were very good. Next, we headed over to Australia, where we had the Lamington Cake, Roasted Lamb Chop, and the Grilled Sweet and Spicy Bushberry Shrimp. The lamington was a yellow cake with a raspberry filling and chocolate icing with coconut flakes on top. The roasted lamb chop was served with a pesto and potato chips. The shrimp was covered in like a chili sauce with onions, peppers, and snap peas. While we were near Australia, we also stopped at the refreshment port, which was nearby, and we tried the braised beef poutine. I'm going to be honest, this dish wasn't the most appetizing looking, but it was the best one that we had. I think my family and I, this was our favorite. It was french fries with chunks of beef, potatoes, cheese curds, all covered in gravy. It was good. It just didn't look so appetizing, but still, it was good. Also, while we were eating, a bird was stalking us. Don't feed Disney wildlife. Do not do it. It's tempting, but don't. After the refreshment port, we headed over to Canada where we enjoyed the Canadian cheddar and bacon soup and the Canadian filet mignon. With the cheddar bacon soup, it was served with a pretzel roll, which was really good. It was a nice switch up from regular bread. With the Canadian filet mignon, it was served with mashed potatoes and mushrooms. After that, we headed over to Ireland where we enjoyed the chocolate pudding cake and the roasted Irish sausage. With the pudding cake, it was served with a Irish custard and the roasted sausages were covered in gravy made out of potatoes and onions. While we were trying our food from Ireland, we decided to have a seat near the English port. It was just a beautiful day. The weather was really nice and it was just great to take everything in. It was a great day to be at Epcot. After eating from Ireland and walking around for a bit, we made our way to France where we tried the creme brulee and the strawberry rose mimosa. I didn't try the strawberry rose mimosa, but judging by these pictures, you can tell how much my family enjoyed them. <laughs> anyway, the creme brulee, again, really good. Next up was Brazil, which is my mom and my sister's favorite. They look forward to this one every year. In Brazil, we enjoyed the pork belly, which is served with black beans, Brazil nut pesto, and white rice. We also had Brazilian cheese bread, and for it being so simple, the cheese bread is so good. Last but certainly not least, which was mine and my dad's favorite, was Mexico, where we enjoyed chicken tacos and beef nachos. With the chicken tacos, they're served in a corn tortilla with chicken and cilantro with Mexican rice and black beans with cheese on top. The beef nachos have cheese, beef, jalapenos, and pico de gallo. This is our favorite. I know most people like to start in Mexico, but I like to end on Mexico because it's delicious. I feel like at this point, I've had so many sweets from all the other countries, so Mexico is a nice way to just have a good palate cleanser and just end the night off with some real food and not just dessert. And that was everything we ate at the Food and Wine Festival. 
again the food and wine festival is more than just food and drinks all around the world they have different events and exhibits to look at if you are able to visit the exhibits from different countries it's definitely worth checking out so you're able to get different types of merchandise another factor that people forget about food and wine is that there are also concerts different artists perform on a variety of dates so it's worth checking out you could possibly see some of your favorite artists at epcot and if you have an annual pass it's basically free so go enjoy yourself if you have the opportunity to go visit the food and wine festival it's worth checking out i know the food and wine festival just ended not too long ago but if you are able to go next year or any years in the future i highly recommend it you will have a great time with your family while we were visiting epcot we finally had the opportunity to visit the journey of water attraction this is a walkthrough attraction that is based off of disney's moana and it allows you to become immersed in different water activities and it teaches you about different resources of water there are places where water is flowing and you could put your hand to stop the water or vice versa you may need to stand somewhere and wave your hands to make some water appear and it's really cool the theme is really cute and it allows more people to learn different things at epcot it's nice to have a walkthrough attraction like this to cool off because so many guests underestimate how hot it is here in florida you hear oh it's hot or it's humid like i'll just wear comfortable clothing and i'll just drink a little bit of water here and there and I'll be fine like no wear your sunblock drink lots of water before during and after your trip to stay hydrated and make sure that you're okay throughout the day but yeah this is a nice attraction to have it cools you off you learn different things it's also nice to just have a Moana attraction we really enjoyed it it was nice visiting and I can't wait to go back after the journey of water attraction, we ended the night off with Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I love this ride. If you are going to Epcot, you need to go on this ride. You will not regret it. It's fun. I think one thing to keep in mind, if you do experience motion sickness, you may want to take some precautionary measures. This ride does spin a lot. It gets you dizzy. But I think it's so worth it in the end because it's so fun. But yeah, that was mine and my family's day at Epcot. We had a great time. I apologize for this video being so late and not uploading as frequently. I've been busy with school, I'm a full-time college student, and I also work part-time, and I also got really sick this past couple of weeks, so I've just been trying to juggle school and work. Right now, it's Thanksgiving break, so I'm able to record this video finally and edit it and upload it. With Thanksgiving break and Christmas break rolling around, I do have some things that I am looking forward to recording so I can upload a little more. This is a busy time of the year for everyone, so please remember to be kind and be patient with people, for workers, students, anybody you see. Please be kind, please be patient. You don't know what people are going through. It's a busy time of the year for everyone. We all make mistakes, we're not perfect. So please just be kind and patient. It goes a long way for a lot of people. I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next time.